A long time ago when I was uh, still an undergrad, I worked for a bunch of lawyers and some of them were pretty good and some of them were excellent. And one of the excellent attorneys gave me some advice which is really important to me. It's something which I have lived by. And that is, is that if you want to go and you want to practice law, it is not a business first, it's a practice first. And then the business takes care of itself. A lawyer who has a good winning track record, a lawyer who cares about clients, a lawyer who does the work, does the interviews, files the motions, is a lawyer who's going to be the most successful. It's not necessarily about how many cases the lawyer can sign up or you know how many uh, attorneys can work for that lawyer. That's not the point. The point is, is that the law comes first, the clients come first, and then the business follows. Now, I took that advice, but then I also got a business degree. So I got a law and a business degree. And one of the things that I uh, also have learned from another uh, great professor that I, I learned from and taught me, that professor told me the following. He said that if you're gonna go into business, you have to know why it is that you're better than everybody else. And just saying that, you know, well, I'm Nick Alcock and I'm better, that isn't what it is. You have to do something which is uncommon. If you're gonna start a business, there's already a bunch of law firms out there. There are already a lot of people that make cars. You have to do something which is different. You have gotta bring something new to the table and you have to innovate. So I looked at building my law practice 20 years ago from that perspective of, I want to build a law practice where we do uncommonly good legal work and we are uncommonly focused on the attorneys that we are absolutely dedicated to making certain that those attorneys that we bring in are world class, that they've got the support that they need and that they care about clients. The one thing that we do which is different and quite honestly I'm proud of this is that we work the cases and we work them it doesn't matter if you are gonna pay a trial fee or not, we don't charge for a trial. So we innovate in the sense that when we take your case, we're all in, we're 100% committed. We are locked in. Uh, when Cortez came to the new world, he burnt his ships. You know, why did he do that? Because he's all in. And that's one of the things that I wanna do in criminal cases. Once we agree to represent you, there isn't another $10,000 or $15,000 or $20,000 that is gonna be needed later. And we're not going to leave people hanging. We're not going to say, oh, well, you know, sorry, you can't pay the trial fee, so we're gonna to have to abandon your case now, and, and thank you so much for letting us work for three months. And because of that, I look for people, I look, we focus on those attorneys who are pure litigators, who like to go to court, like to fight in court, so it isn't a big deal. You know, it is not a big deal that, hey, if we have to go to court, we have to go to court, but it also says to the client, and also says to the prosecutor, we are all in. We need to make this case uh, go away, or we need to get an outcome which is acceptable. And if we don't have either of those things, then my client absolutely is committed to going to trial, and that's what we're going to do. So I have a bunch of attorneys that go to trial a lot, and because of that, they have more experience. And because of that, they are more capable when they negotiate with prosecutors. And because of that, we basically got to where we're at. And that's the innovation, and I think that that innovation makes us better as well. So in criminal defense cases, when you are charged with something which is really life altering, something that could put you in prison for a long time, you don't wanna hire an attorney who's gonna be in for a few months and then bail, because then another attorney's gonna come in, a public defender, uh, somebody you know, who's gonna have to start all over again. That puts you in a very, very bad situation. And life happens and things happen where you may not be able to afford that trial fee. A lot of times people come to us after they've, you know, they've say for example, that they hired an attorney and they can't pay the trial fee and then they don't know what to do and then they come to my office and you know in situations like that I'll work with clients and I'll figure out a payment plan and I'll do what I can to help them because I don't want to leave anybody hanging. I don't want to have anybody go to prison unnecessarily, especially if their case is super defensible, especially if there's something about their case where the jury needs to hear it or the judge needs to hear it or the prosecutor needs to hear it. So in homicide cases, kidnapping cases, in major felony cases, when your life is really on the line, we are all in, we're 100% committed, and our job is to fight and do everything that we possibly can, and we build relationships with people, and that's the innovation that we bring to the market. So we never charge a trial fee for criminal cases. It's a flat fee, affordable payments, and we take it from there. So if you wanna experience what makes the firm different, give us a call, 602-989-5000. 602-989-5000 is our number. It's a free consultation, free call, and we're here to help you. Any criminal cases, uh, in Arizona, we've got the staff. Thanks so much.